equipment or something on it. You know, they very rarely need anything. They're very self-sufficient. Their feet are very sound. Don't have to worry about foot rot, which is a big problem with goats, which is a big deterrent and mm -hmm. why I chose them over goats because I was just thinking about all the issues that you could run into. And I just like things that are a little more self-sufficient, which I think is um, a direct result of them um, not being just so bred for one thing in particular. Like I found that with the chickens. Um, you know, with these different meat breeds and chickens, they've just been bred, you know, in these labs over and over and over again, just focusing on the breast meat, you know, and so then their brains and their feet and everything else are not sound, but they've got a great breast, and that's, it, it, I think we just lose sight of a lot of the important things. I'm sure you've heard of. Oh, yeah, I know Clyde. Yeah. He's my best friend up here, Okay. and uh, I go, I have chicken cocktail hour with him often, but he, um, he, his wife was running and saw this trailer, just the base of this trailer, and messaged me about it. So I called the guy who had it on his property, and he, she, he ended up uh, saying I could have it. And um, so I built it out using all old wood and random like shutter pieces and different things like that. And uh, just built this to be able to house all these chickens. My first welding project was fixing the, the front of it, but um, I rotate them around every like at least once a week. And so then they're, you know, putting nitrogen down in different areas and I'm um, uh, fertilizing the field.